Welcome to our exam hints on six mark questions for the foundation tier. So what we've got here then is an example of a chemistry six mark question this time from C1. So this question is about polymerization. So in our question we've got write about the polymerization of propene, include in your answer the name of the polymer, the conditions used and what happens to the propene molecules. So we know that this one we're going to be assessed on our quality of written communication because we've got the pencil here and the statement that tells us this. Now that's not something to worry about because a lot of people see these six mark questions and they just turn the page straight away without even attempting it. But I'm going to show you that you don't need to write huge amounts to get those six marks. So the first thing we're going to do is the name of the polymer. So we're looking at the polymerization of propene and hopefully we remember that when we're actually working out the name of a polymer all we need to do is write the word poly in front of the name of our little unit here. So the name of the polymer is polypropene. So that's our first point. Done that, tick it off. This is good practice because it means you're not going to miss out part of the question by accident. Next point is what the conditions used actually are. So we can come down to our next line here with the conditions used are a catalyst and a high pressure. Last point we need to then do is what happens to the propene molecules. So this isn't some lengthy explanation this time. All we need to say is the propene monomers join together to make a polymer the monomers are alkenes and the last point lots of monomers join to make a polymer So you can see we've not written huge amounts there, but that gives us all of the parts of the question. So we've answered all three sections there. So if we have a look to see how this one would be marked then, to get your level one answer, which gets you up to two marks, we literally needed to come up with the name, we needed to name a condition, or give a very basic description of polymerization. So any of those three things that we did, just saying catalyst or a high pressure or the name is polypropene or just giving a very basic description, then we get two marks. So this is basically worth our level one answer, which is two marks. For our level two answer, which gets us up to four marks, we'd have had the name polypropene and the name of the condition or we'd have had the limited description. So we've got our name of the polymer and then we need either a condition or a limited description of it. So because we've got our conditions here, that takes us to four marks. And then finally, to get our top six marks for the level three answer there, we would have to name polypropene, we'd have to name one or both conditions, so you don't need both of them even for your top six marks there, and give a complete description of polymerization. Now that doesn't mean you've got to have literally all three of those points. I would say as long as you've got the top one and the bottom one there, along with at least one of those conditions and the name polypropene, then we get our level three answer, which is six marks. So you can see that for the whole thing, we've only needed a total of one, two, three, four, five sentences. So you don't need to panic about the fact they've given you a whole load of lines and you've got to fill them in great detail. You don't have to at all. So literally bullet point your answers to help you structure it just like they've done in the question. And remember, just use a capital letter and a full stop every once in a while to make sure you get the top six marks.